Hi, I'm Chris. And Kathy. Today we're going to do some balsam tip jelly. Uh, you may have seen our spruce tip jelly recipe um, that we made. And if you didn't, well, shame on you for not watching that. Uh, but uh, when I was making that, I was wondering, well, why can't I do this with balsam tip? And, uh, you know, I, I searched the internet and I couldn't find anything on YouTube or Google about balsam jelly. So I uh, did a test batch this morning. It turned out pretty good. Um, one thing is uh, you want to pick these in some area where you know they haven't been sprayed for whatever reason. Uh, we're just out in the middle of a red pine plantation um, harvesting them. Uh, let's see. We need, uh, we still need nine cups. And my bucket here is about 10 cups, so I am almost there. Uh, we also, we don't wear any bug spray when we're out here. Um, trying to keep whatever we make, whether it's dandelion or wild raspberry or strawberry or whatever, we try to keep everything organic as possible so we don't wear the bug sprays. Uh, they bite us, they bite us. But anyway, we need nine cups of these, and uh, when I get back, I'm going to put them in uh, seven and a half cups of water with them. I'm going to bring them up to a boil, and uh, I'll let them simmer for about an hour, hour and a half, and then we'll go from there. So we'll see you back at camp. So we're back at camp, and I got my balsam tips. Uh, simmering over here. They've been cooked for about an hour already. I've got my water bath with my jars in it sterilizing right now. Uh, again, for this recipe, you'll need four cups of sugar, one box of sugar gel of whatever kind you use, uh, the powdered pectin, uh, four tablespoons of lemon juice. This morning when I was practicing on this recipe, uh, I started without the lemon juice. And tasted it. it wasn't quite what I would hope for so I added four tablespoons of lemon juice and it just turned it into something totally different so don't forget the, the lemon juice it really adds some excellent flavor to it um, and it's set already you can see that and uh, actually I think that the, the flavor of the balsam tip is more intense than what the spruce jelly flavor is. Uh, the only thing about the balsam tips is they're a lot smaller than the spruce and it took us a lot longer to pick them. So I'm going to go ahead and strain need the pot holders. I'm going to strain out three cups of juice just like I did for the spruce jelly through the cheesecloth and again I'm really surprised that I did not find anything online about balsam tip jelly there is three cups Sven here did not do a darn thing to help us pick the tips I mean he was very slow at it so into the pot goes my Three cups of juice. I'm going to move my water bath over to the other burner. Bring that up here. I'm going to add my one package of pectin right away to it. And I'll stir that up. I'll bring that, I'll bring this up to a boil and let it get to a rolling boil before I add my sugar. So we'll come back right after that happens. All right, so it's been up to a rolling boil here, which is a boil that doesn't stop when you're using a spoon. I also added the four tablespoons of lemon juice too. Add up the four cups of sugar. 
and I will bring this back up to a boil again uh, to another rolling boil for a minute and we'll come back after that happens. All right, we got a rolling boil here after I added the sugar. So we're ready to start putting it in jars. And like I said, I, I think the most important part of this batch uh, that I did this morning is learning that you need to have the lemon juice in there. It really brings out the flavor. The other thing, uh, doing jelly, is having a measuring cup with a real pointed spout like that really helps a lot. And this batch, again, this recipe will do ten half pints, and then you'll have some left over. And even though I can see that I'm not getting anything on the rim. Leave a quarter inch headspace. I'm not leaving nothing on the rim. I wipe them off anyway. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to finish getting these uh, filled up. They go in the water bath for 10 minutes after you're done. And if it doesn't set for you in two hours after it comes out, you did something wrong. I did uh, about 75 half pints now of spruce tip jelly and they all turned out. Okay, so I think that's about it. I hope you like this video. Like I said, this is the first one that... Uh, I think anybody's done on balsam chips. Uh, I hope you hit the like button, share it with others. Uh, join us on our Facebook group at All Things Wild. Look for the canoe at the top of the page. If you're into hunting, fishing, trapping, gathering, canning, anything like that outdoors, you can see it's starting to set in the pan already. So I got to get going. Thanks for watching. Bye.